Hey, this is Cheryl of Watch Cheryl Scrap, and today I'm here with another digital scrapbooking process video. Today I am going to be uh, scrapping a double page layout. I'll be using 10 photos that are uh, selfies that my daughter and son took uh, in the year 2014. And uh, individually, I just um, think these photos are just a lot of fun. You can see their personality and how they grow and change through the year. Um, especially my son, he looks so small at the beginning and grows up quite a bit. I'll be using a kit by Forever Joy Designs at the lily pad called Your Selfie. And I start out by making a 24 by 12 canvas. And after looking at the kit, I really loved this paper with the stamped frames on it. So what you saw me do there was after I had um, added the papers on, I went ahead and added a uh, guideline so I could see where the center of the layout would be. And I do that just to keep an eye on um, where journaling elements, etc., would be for printing in a photo book or even single pages. Um, it just helps me really know where to put, you know, the elements so they don't fall into the gutter of the photo book. So now I'm just pulling all the photos onto the page and I've added a stroke and a shadow to each of the photos. I just feel like it brings an extra definition to the shadowing to have the white around the photo. And one thing to keep in mind when you are making a double page layout, especially if you're using photos from um, a long period of time like this began in January and went to December of 2014, what you'll see is that um, if you convert those to black and white, you still have a feeling of uniformity and you don't have the colors clashing and competing with one another in a, you know, if you left them all a uh, color photograph. And of course, if you're lucky, then sometimes, you know, you can get a nice multicolor kit to use if you don't want to recolor your actual, um, well, I lost my train of thought there. That's not unusual these days. So now I'm just adding some elements. Of course, when I looked through the kit, one of the first things that caught my eye was this camera. And I just, I had, uh, I had to add it on. Of course, since they're taking selfies. Now, one thing that, you know, like I said earlier, I love having all these photos all in one page. I like them, of course, each individually, but together, I think they tell a really cool story. And part of that story is that the photos were taken in the last full year that my daughter was at home. So uh, since August of 2015, she has been away at college. And when I say away, that's only about 20 minutes away, but still she's not around um, and has other things on her mind, other things to do besides taking a, a selfie with her brother every month. But I love that she was home for these, that she took them, that they have such a good relationship. So I just, I love um, all of these photos. And of course I wish, I've, I don't know, I've been missing her lately. So I wish that she, um, you know, of course I wish she was here with us and I could have a bunch of other selfies to scrap. But overall, I really, I'm really am proud of her and I'm glad she's off and doing her thing. I'm going to have to remind her, um, her and, and Daniel to take photos of, uh, together again. 
That's like such a treasure. As I have a younger brother and I do not have selfies with him. I have a few photos of him. He is 20 years younger than I am, but um, I think that uh, I think that would be pretty cool if I had photos of us like this. Sometimes technology drives me nuts, and then there's other times where I'm like very grateful for it. Especially when it comes to memory keeping. Now I think I want to do... I'm adding some buttons here. And I think I add... Um, some scatters. Yeah, little bead scatters. And then my final um, piece will be to bring in a pattern paper to go behind the large photo. Just to... Uh, draw your eye there a little bit more and I choose this flower um, floral pattern and just took my rectangular marquee tool and, and just made a square and did a copy paste and here you're going to see the completed layout I did do some custom shadows on there. You can see just the left side and then the right side. It's coming up here in just a second. If you like watching my videos, um, of course, be sure to give me a thumbs up and like it. Share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.